So we are on example three of the first depth, second depth method to find the answer to physics questions, where we're having to describe change from one depth to another. So uh, this time we're looking at a question where we've got a diver going from one depth to another depth, and it's asking us about the change in the actual volume of air that they will be breathing through in PSI. Uh, apologies for using PSI and not bar. Uh, I just had to pick one or the other. Uh, so what are we going to do? Well, the first thing we do when we are using the first depth, second depth method is to divide the starting depth by the ending depth. We're in salt water. The starting depth is 50 meters. So it's six divided by the second depth is 20 meters. We're in salt water still three atmospheres at 20 meters of salt water. So six divided by three gives us our first calculation. Very, very simple. First depth, second depth method, you always divide the starting depth by the ending depth. So we've got six divided by three equals two. Now what we need to do is look at the question and ask ourselves, what is the starting PSI? The starting PSI is 10 PSI. And we also need to think to ourselves, well, what number am I expecting as a possible answer? Uh, I'm going from 50 meters up to 20 meters. I'm getting shallower. That means I'm going to breathe through my air more slowly. It means I'm going to breathe through a smaller volume of air every minute than I would have at 50 meters. So I need to make the number 10 smaller. I want a smaller volume of air at 20 meters compared to 50 meters. What number am I using to make change that number 10? I'm using the number two. So I need to divide. If I want to make 10 smaller, I need to divide given my change factor is the number two. 10 divided by two gives me the correct answer. The correct answer is B5 PSI. So in this example, we actually found an example where the correct thing to do was to divide in the second calculation. Please feel free to like my Facebook page. Uh, you can visit my website, goprocaribbean.com, to find out about the dates of my IDCs and also to find more study notes, quizzes, and videos. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to know instantly when I do release a new video. Thanks very much for watching.